Hello everyone, Claude Victor Alpha 2, Charlie Sierra Tango here. Today I'd like to do a follow-up video on the TRX Bench Balan video I previously made. You can find the link of that video in the description box below. This time we will be testing the efficiency of the Balan to see the attenuation of the common mode current. To do this, I will use a Nano VNA. Of course, this is not a high precision test equipment, but it will give you a rough idea of the attenuation performance of a Balan. This is going to be a simple setup. You can see here that I have two test cables with alligator clips. The red one is tied to the S11 part, and the blue one is tied on the S21 part on the Nano VNA. Two 25 ohm resistors will be connected on the red S11 cable that will inject the signal on both center and shield of the Balan input. On the other side, two group of resistors, equally 25 ohm resistors connected on the blue S21 cable will measure the attenuation at the output of the Balan. You can see the S21 log mag is almost 0 dB from 3.5 to 54 MHz. If I open the leads, you can see the loss induced in the open circuit. This is just to show you that when the leads are connected together, there is almost no loss on the entire test bandwidth. For easier viewing, I'm going to use the Nano VNA app on my computer instead of the small screen of the Nano VNA. Before testing Peter's TRX Lab Balan design, I will test a Balan that came with an antenna I just bought recently that covers from 40 meters to 6 meters. After seeing the result, we will go ahead and test Peter's Balan design and see the difference. Let me set up everything for the first Balan test. OK. You can now see the frequency covered will be from 3.5 to 54 megahertz. And what you see right now is the S21 log mag with almost no loss on the entire test bandwidth because both leads are connected together. If I open the circuit, you can see the instant loss of the circuit. This is how the test setup will be connected. Like previously said, Two 25 ohm resistor will inject the S11 signal on both center and shield of the Balan input. At the output of the Balan, the two 25 ohm group of resistor are connected on the S21 part of the Nano VNA. This test setup on a 1 to 1 Balan requires a plus 2 dB adjustment, so we will correct this here in the S21 offset. Here is the attenuation result measure on the S21 port. For a Balan to be effective, we need to have at least 20 dB of attenuation. See the power result of this Balan on 40 meters, 20 meters, and 17 meters and minimal acceptable results are starting to be shown at 15 meters, 12 meters, 10 meters, and 6 meters. Now let's switch to Peter's TRX Labs Balan design. Here is what Peter's TRX Lab Balan Design test setup looks like. And what a difference. You can see a lot better result across the whole bandwidth with acceptable results on 50 MHz. See the result of this Balan on 40 meters, 20 meters, 17 meters. 15 meters, 12 meters, 10 meters, and 6 meters. I 
I'm quite satisfied with the result I see as it is. I'm well below 20 dB needed across all the bands I need to cover with my new antenna. So there you go. I hope you find this video helpful in helping you check your balloon efficiency. Thanks for watching.